how often shall I two point on something that I really would like to have removed or that I really would like to achieve? Can I do this every day or how often per day? That kind of question um, in our membership yesterday started a whole beautiful conversation around phases of two-pointing, uh, also about phrasing questions, etc. And I would like to share some of those things here with you today. So when we start two-pointing or any kind of energy work, but I'm talking about the two-pointing, the initial emphasis lies a lot on removing blocks, or as we like to call them, problems. We um, either have some financial issues, we have relationship problems, um, we have confidence problems, or uh, something is not working in our health. So our initial work when we start this is really about removing or transforming those blocks. And that's absolutely fine. So to answer the first question we had, how often can I um, ask a question or two point a particular topic, I answer that um, now and then we go into uh, the next phases of two pointing. When you are in, in, uh, in the first phase, your problem is usually pretty dominant in your thoughts and in your energy field. And you most likely are thinking and worrying about that problem uh, a lot more than you at this point can see solutions or can see where you would like to be instead of where you are right now. I always go with what feels right. There are no limitations in how you apply two-pointing and how often you apply it. When you are starting initially, just see, is two-pointing in that moment really helping me to feel a little better, to go into a space where I feel more peaceful, where I forget that worry for a moment? Is this beneficial? Then I say, you can two-point as often as you like, because you are, in that moment, receiving the space of nothingness, or the worry is not present in that moment. And this can already be all you need. So if you feel, yes, it's helpful to two-point two once a day, twice a day, three times a day, or every day, of the week, then I encourage you to do so. If you are noticing, and the more you two point, the more you become the observer. So if you are noticing the reason why you are two pointing three times a day or every day, um, three times a day, is because you are not seeing the result that you have in your mind at that point, then I encourage you to rethink again. So we are going to the next level now. When we are two-pointing, and then the next level of, of this topic, when we are two-pointing, I always encourage you to afterwards avoid looking at what you actually want to achieve or where you would like or think you need to see the changes. Because what that does is it helps your brain and your mind give you a reason to say, this is not working. Remember, when we two point, we are working through all these different levels, emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, and the reason why you experience in this moment your so-called problem or energy block may be somewhere that you are not aware of. Uh, and by the way, you don't need to be aware of that either. So it may be connected to something that you can't think of, that you don't know. And if you are now thinking your solution lies here and you finish two-pointing and you're looking, has it, has, is it gone? Uh, and you're focusing on that again, you are not allowing 
the whole process to evolve and you are not allowing yourself to broaden the view, which then helps you to see the solutions that may be completely somewhere where you are not expecting them. So I hope I have that part clear. First, two point, if it feels good, you can two point as often as you like. The initial step is removing blocks. So avoid looking for a direct result in some area. Instead, look for anything that is changing, anything at all. Now, the second phase, when you've two pointed quite a bit, and I'm not talking about like three days in a row or something, I'm talking more about weeks and months, you have now removed a lot of the blockages. And now you can change your questioning and you can change your focus. Now that you removed a lot of the blocks, there is more space. There's also more space for inspiration, for creative ideas and for solutions, not only to come in, but for you to see them. And the second phase is usually where I then invite you to focus on how you would like something to feel. So instead of having a direct goal uh, in writing even or in thoughts, think about how would you like to feel in a certain situation or in your job or in your life? It's more the feeling because the feeling again is energy. And how the universe then provides you with something in your so-called outside world that allows, allows you to experience this feeling more often, we leave that open. So when you have a feeling that you would like, you may have experienced that once or twice or more often. You feel really confident because somebody asked you to create a video with them and you are the actress of that movie. Or you had a marvelous, beautiful walk on the beach with your best friend and you shared some lovely laughs and um, heart-centered conversations. Or you simply, you enter the forest and you feel completely at peace and appreciate all the beauty around you. Nothing has to be really big or massive. We all have had those kind of feelings. And when you have one of those that you really, really like and appreciate and you would like to have more of, when you start the two-pointing process, so instead of now thinking of a problem, you are now thinking of that feeling that you would like to feel more often of. And then you can ask questions like, what is preventing me from experiencing this feeling more often? Or what is stopping me from expressing that feeling in my outside world? Or anything that kind of, um, you have this, this, this feeling, this vision, this inspiration, and now we are seeing if there are any blocks that prevent us from experiencing that more often. There is quite a difference in the approach However, you need to practice and you need to practice a bit to remove the initial blocks because those blocks, if you would start with the second process, you wouldn't even really go be able to go into that feeling um, because the blocks or I always say the lovely curtains need to be opened first. So all this came out of um, lovely conversations we had yesterday. And the last I would like to say is what we most of us uh, are doing. <clears throat> and that's uh, another reason why often we are not seeing uh, the results that we would like to experience is that we have this inhibit way of focusing on what we don't want. So the, that includes the worry about something or the fear or the bad experience that we had. And we focus on that inhibitly more than on what we want. Um, and I, again, I don't really even like the word want. What inspires us, what excites us, 
what um, we feel we would like to experience. And that has to do somehow with um, the limbic part in our brain, because that's the oldest part of our brain and was mainly responsible for our survival. Uh, and obviously very important uh, in those days anyway. But that's one of the reasons why we are more trained to look for something that's not working or that stops us or that worries us or that puts us in fear than looking at the other side. So for the first, and that's why we start two-pointing with looking or activating our so-called problems. First, we remove all this. And once that has happened, your trust in yourself will grow bigger. Your intuition has always been there and it's, it's um, always present. But with fear and worry, we um, tend to cut that connection. And so that's why we remove blockages first. And now we can go into the next phase of two pointing and allowing for the intuition to grow stronger and allowing for our dreams, our joys, our positive feelings, uh, our sharing with the world to grow and only um, ask them questions that we are guided to ask. So what's preventing me or even how can I achieve more of this? I hope you find this helpful. Um, there are a couple of more videos I will be creating after this because there was so much uh, that we shared yesterday, so much amazing knowledge, um, and that prompted me to create this video and the next one will follow soon. If you are um, liking this information, I invite you to share, first of all, to subscribe to my channel, but also maybe share with others who you think might benefit from this. Thank you for watching and bye for now.